Although IoT has been around for quite a number of years now in some shape or form, my interest in IoT grew when I heard about the acquisition of Nest by Google. That for me was a tipping point when I realized IoT is now past the hype curve and becoming a reality. But IoT is still a very, very consumer-led event so far. If you think about devices like Fitbit, Strava, Jawbone, they all help us manage our or monitor our physical metrics while we're doing activities like jogging, biking, running, etc. But industry is now rising up to the challenge of IoT and asking us the question, how can we hop along on this IoT journey? In fact, for the last couple of years now, IoT has been a very important item in the agendas of CIOs and CEOs. And the good part is, IoT is not just for one industry, it spans across industries. So whether you are a manufacturer, whether you are in CPG, in retail, in fashion, in automotive, IoT is for everyone. So let's take an example now. If I'm the owner of an agricultural company in the UK, my objectives are fairly simple to increase the throughput of my farm yield while reduce my cost wherever possible. So if I have to ask the question, what is the most fundamental need for all the farms? They all need water. If I can manage to direct the flow of my water to areas where and when it's needed the most, that will help me save my water costs. And same can be extended to not only water, but nutrients, pesticides, fertilizers, etc. But from an IT perspective, over here, we need a solid platform which can help me connect to my on-farm sensors, bring data into my platform, process it, and digest it. This is where SAP's HANA Cloud Platform comes into picture. HANA Cloud Platform, or HCP, is a platform as a service offering in-memory database and business application services on the cloud. IoT is one such service which we are offering via HCP and other one is Smart Process Services or SPS in short. A few months back, SAP invited us to collaborate on a close beta partner program on Smart Process Services or SPS. The intention of this program was not only to build and trial out services on SPS, but it was also to provide feedback to SAP where SPS could be improved going forward. SPS is basically an umbrella term which covers a few services. Services such as OPI or Operational Process Intelligence to have unified view of my process metrics across my enterprise. BPM like Process Management Services or BRM like Rules Management Services. So all in all, a great platform to manage your process intelligence and process workflows. So let's dig a bit deeper now. This is my soil sensor, which can be placed onto my farm soil, and it can track its uh, soil moisture readings and report it to my HANA Cloud platform. However, this sensor is not smart enough to send this, these values on its own. It needs support from a microcontroller such as this one. I'm using Arduino for my demonstration, but you can use Raspberry Pi for example, or any other microcontroller you can have. Now this sensor can have soil moisture readings from 150 to a bit more than 1000. So 150-ish reading means the soil moisture is too high, so my soil is wet, while 1000 means it's too dry. So if I am the owner of my company, I'm looking at soil moisture level of say between 400 to 700. That's my good range. This is where SPS kicks in. Smart process services can be leveraged to model my business process workflows and to model my business rules. So whenever, whenever my value is out of a certain range or a threshold is reached, it sends me notification or an alert. Hopefully, this has provided you with a real life use case around not only where IoT can be used, but also how to build scenarios on top of IoT. Hope this video was informative and watch out this space for more videos and blogs. Thank you for listening.